So it was just such an exciting opportunity, just a wonderful chance to collaborate with one of our near partner cities in Liverpool uh, and to work with such a, uh, an amazing array of, of natural environment expertise, the National Wildflower Centre in Liverpool, uh, Kew, London obviously, the National Trust and ourselves. Being involved in a project like this where we're sort of um, bringing a wildflower meadow back into the city, it's a great uh, change in direction. Only last week I got an amazing email off a local resident who said he hadn't used a particular part of Hume for many, many years, but now as a result of the Wildflower Project, he was actually going down there and sort of like using it more regularly and brightened up his walk to work. Our aim was to engage a range of the community, plenty of whom 10, 15 years ago may not have even had a garden. So that's our real heart of agenda. But within that subsection, schools, so we've worked closely with seven schools, including a new uh, special school who come into the area. And it was just nice that, to be involved in a project where both cities were working together initially to win the bid and win the funding, but then the, the, the engagement, so people came from Liverpool to help you know, do the, the, the work here, people went from here to there to do likewise. For me, the whole thing with the, the garden centre is it's about doing it with other people and this, this is definitely, I mean, there's a regular core of volunteers at the garden centre, um, but this, is, this has definitely brought in a lot, of, a lot of new faces. I won't say it's always easy to get people involved in every hands-on project that we do, but there are lots of projects which people really want to see succeed. Uh, and although there is a level of apathy, that's always been the case, it's been pretty good going uh, in terms of this project's success and engaging people, getting them involved in doing stuff. The other thing which is really, really key is that it's, it's so transformative, it's replicable. We can do it elsewhere. If we can do it in the central reservations and subways in and around Hume, we've got other spaces in the city and guess what? There's a lot more cities across the country who could benefit from this type of approach. Appreciation of wildflowers is palpable. You, if you walked there today and asked everyone you'd, and just said straight, what do you think of the wildflowers? You, you just get 100% positive. You're really delighted with it.